I went to that prom as her date. Showed me no type of attention at all. That was probably one of the worst proms ever. Man, 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 man. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, or if y'all are new, welcome to the channel. Jeremiah 2 Fly, we back with another video. Before I even get started with telling y'all what the video is gonna be, but y'all can see it by the title, I just wanna wish y'all a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a happy new year, because I know I'm probably gonna upload this on Christmas Day. It's currently December 23rd. Knowing me, I'm probably gonna finish editing it by Christmas Eve and schedule it to drop on Christmas Day. So whenever y'all see it, Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, I hope it's going well for y'all. Anyways, um, as y'all see by the, t the title and the gorgeous looking thumbnail that y'all clicked on. Coming at y'all with yet again another story time. This story time is going to be about the time where I went to two proms. Probably had one of the worst experiences ever. Uh -huh. Hope y'all do enjoy today's video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that. Share the video as well also. Make sure you guys do follow my socials once again. If y'all watch my videos and y'all want to get to know me better as a person, follow my Instagram. I literally post on there all the time. Literally all the time. So y'all go follow me over there. Follow the TikTok. We almost had 10K on TikTok, by the way, which is crazy. Without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Roll my intro. Gotta play it one more time, bro. Well, I'm at the biz in New York. She want me by the door. I tell a little bit at the door. Selling out all of my toys. So let me start by giving y'all a little background of how I met this girl I went to prom with, right? Me and her worked the same job. We both worked. Actually, don't worry about where we worked. That, 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 ain't, that ain't none of y'all business. Just know we worked the same job. This was around like November of 2022. We exchanged uh, socials and everything like that. And then we started, we were, we were getting tight. Every time I was at work and I saw that she was working, we were... We was cool. We would chop it up during the break, during our breaks and things like that. We we was really we, we was really cool as hell. Like she, we had the same music taste, everything. So I was like, okay, we can vibe. We cool. She cool, and she funny too. So it's like we coolin'. So it gets to around like January, right? And we brought up the idea of possibly going to prom together as friends, strictly as friends. I made it clear that I wanted to go only as friends. We are nothing more than that, just friends. Because at the time, I had just gotten out of a relationship. If y'all didn't see that story time, I'll put the card right here. I didn't want anything to do with anybody. Even though we was vibing, like I said, we was really, we was really close, right? My homeboy also worked that job with her, so he was close to her as well. Uh, she's most likely gonna see this video. Do I care? No, because I don't talk to her anymore. So the time comes, we first go to her prom, and then we go to my prom. Her prom was in April, mine was in May. So it comes time to go to her prom. I already, she she brings up the idea, oh, what color do you wanna wear? Now me, I wanna wear the same color to both proms. But she's like, oh nah, I can't do that. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta have different colors. So I'm just like, okay, cool. Because it's her prom, she should get to decide what color she wants to wear. And at my prom, I get to decide. So yeah, I thought that was a fair deal. She thought it was a fair deal. So we went with it. She wanted to wear red. I was like, okay, cool. She wanted to wear red and black because she had she had red shoes and a black dress. So I'm like, okay, cool. I had to go shop around for a black tie. Her mom actually bought me shoes to match with her, which was very sweet of her. I appreciate her mom every single day. I'm I really I don't got a problem with her. Her mom is the sweetest person I ever met. So is her dad. Her parents are real cool people. If y'all are if y'all are this far in the video already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like. Hit the like. Y'all come this far and y'all haven't hit the like button already. Just, just hit just hit the like button. It's right there. But anyways, continuing on with the story. It comes the day where it's time for her prom. Now mind you, I didn't have a car. So I couldn't really like I couldn't drive her to the prom or nothing like that. So she had to go she had to go with friends and she wanted me to meet up with her at her house. Now I was all, I was totally cool with that. However, I have parents who are like, oh, if we don't know, if we don't know these people, you can't go to their house. And I completely understood that. So I told her that, and she was like, oh, your parents, your parents are tripping. Uh, why, why can't, why can't, why can't you just come to our house? So you can get to know, you can get to know my people. And it's like, it's, it's really not that easy. So she was like, well, whatever. 
all my friend all my friends are gonna be there. We took pictures beforehand, so I kinda like made it up to her that way. And I head back inside the house, she leaves, go back to her house, has dinner with her friends at her house. And I have dinner at home, at my house. I wait for my dad to come back from work. So he goes, he take he takes me to the prom. I meet her I meet her there. I thought I thought we it was cool. And I guess maybe the fact that I didn't show up to her house made her like treat me some type of way because I went to that prom as her date, right? Went to, her, went to that prom as her date. Showed me no type of attention at all. She like introduced me every now and then, but uh, that was probably one of the worst proms ever. And I barely knew anybody there, which made it 10 times worse. Only reason why I had fun at that prom was because I ran into some friends that happened to go, that I happened to go to high school with. So that that just, that made it a little that made it a little bit better. But if I go to a dance with you and you just act like I don't exist and you just hanging out with all your friends and stuff, I'm going to feel some type of way and I'm probably never going to look at you the same again. So after that night, I really I really didn't communicate with her as much because I was I was kind of upset. And even though we were just friends, I still wanted her to just acknowledge my existence at least. She I was her prom date. When you go to a prom like, come on, like, am I tripping y'all? Let me know in the comments if I was tripping. That was that prom. Now, for my prom, we wore blue. I wore a blue suit. She wore a white dress with like blue shoes. And I'm like, cool. But we met up at a park to take pictures first for prom. And then we head, we head to the place where it's at. Vibes, vibes are kind of low. Uh, me, and her, me and her chopping it up a little bit. And then she, then she meets some friends that she knew from middle school. And then they start chopping it up, and I'm like, okay, cool. She want to run this game again? Cool. I'm going to hang out with my boys. I hang out with my boys, and she over there talk, talking to all her girls or whatever. I want to I wanna take pictures on the little, you know, the, you know that little thing where it's like where it's like an iPad? It's kind of like circling around y'all. I wanted to do that with her, but she was being lame. She talking about, oh, I don't want to do that, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm your prom date. Why, what, what, what's your problem? And like I said, we, we are just friends. But at the same time, I'm your prom date. Treat me as such. I, I started to feel like, what, what's, it, what's, it, what's going on with you? The, the vibe's just not there. We're not, we not connecting, you know? We have a good time, right? And then it comes to the point where those, those proms are over. I believe it's around maybe two, three weeks after that. We just don't talk as much anymore. And there was a point where I had cut my hair and I got a, and I got a girlfriend. And her friend was in my was in my close sto friend story, but she wasn't. She found out, and she got mad. So I'm like, "Why are you mad over a close friend story? That's so, that's so stu use your head. Like, why 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 is that a reason to get mad? You mad over a green circle? You know how stupid that is? Just because I don't add you to a stupid story doesn't mean I don't rock with you. I do kind of see why she was upset because." I added her friend and I barely knew her friend. So I don't, I don't even remember why I added her. But um, yeah, so from that point, our friendship was just like, went completely downhill because I think she had a crush on me. I didn't know and I didn't care. I didn't want it to get to that point. Because you know, I said we were just friends and I want, and I want to keep it that way. End of May, beginning of June, I had a girlfriend. and. She got she got mad because she was like, oh, um, you really didn't have me in your close friends because you were hiding your girlfriend from me. And I'm like, I don't need to hide nothing from you. We're just friends. What is your problem? So from then, I just like completely cut contact, stopped talking to her. And then she asked me for the shoes back like she paid for them. Girl, your mom bought those for me. Unless she asked me to return them, I'm not returning nothing. Plus, I want to thank you. These shoes would make all my fits hard. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I needed those. That's really that's really it for the story time. Um, worst worst experience of my life. Worst, worst prom ever. Like I had a good time with my friends, but it felt like I didn't even go with a girl. It felt like it felt like I went by myself. Cause bro, when you when you have a prom date, you're supposed to like show off your prom date and all this other stuff. And I didn't I didn't get those vibes, so it's like it was man, whatever. That's it for the story time. I hope y'all did enjoy it. Make sure you guys like, 
comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all of that. Follow my socials once again. They're going to be down in the description. And yeah, thank y'all for watching. Happy holidays. I will see you guys in the next video. Just hype. Bust out Rolly Avalanche. Yeah, my old bitch average. This my first time rapping it. I might go retarded shit. Bentley Coop, I'm dashing it. Standing my money, I'm toilet shit. Told him, don't you doubt the kid. Told him, don't you doubt the kid. I run up 30 on 30 on 30. When I'm in the streets, I stay too sturdy.